The Australian Bustard is the largest flying land bird and the heaviest flying bird in Australia. They are a bird of grasslands, open woodlands and agricultural country with a huge range across the continent, but very few Australians ever see them. The species was scientifically described in 1829 by the prolific British zoologist John Edward Gray, who was also the world's first stamp collector. This beautiful illustration of the species appeared as a lithograph attributed to H.C. Richter in John Gould's monumental seven-volume series, The Birds of Australia. The lithograph was based on an original drawing by Gould's wife, Elizabeth, an extraordinarily talented wildlife illustrator who accompanied her husband to Australia between 1838 and 1840 to prepare the book. That's the male bird in the foreground and the female with a less distinct crest behind. This is about the best view most observers ever get of a bustard. Their standard response to humans is to walk slowly away, avoiding flying if possible. At this range, it's difficult to appreciate just how big these birds are. In fact, they're usually about the same size, weight and wingspan as an Australian pelican. But really big old bustards can be quite a bit bigger and heavier than pelicans. Bustards are highly nomadic, and when they do fly, they fly strongly. They eat pretty much anything. Leaves, buds, seeds, fruit, frogs, mice, lizards, and insects, sometimes taking advantage of bushfires to catch prey. They breed once a year, the males clearing a display area where they turn on an impressive performance to attract females, inflating their throat sack and roaring as they strut about with their tail cocked high. The female lays a single egg on bare ground or in grass, and she alone incubates the egg and cares for the young.